IoT is phenomenally growing field that's transforming the world around us. If you are interested in being part of this exciting field, then stick around because we are going to deep dive into the top skills to become IoT developer. Hello everyone, my name is Haryar Nath and welcome to IoT Frontier. It takes time and effort to create content for you guys. So please share your support by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button so that you will never miss any episode. I have divided the content into two parts. The skills which are must have and the skills which are good to have for an IoT developer. Uh, let's get into the first must have skill. So in the first must have skill we have IoT embedded systems. For IoT, apart from software, hardware skills are also needed. In embedded systems, we'll get idea of hardware interfacing, microcontroller, microprocessor, and etc. Don't worry, because you don't have to get into the complete embedded concepts. You can have the basics of the following, like how the sensor work, how they can be interfaced, as well as uh, how the actuators work, how do we acquire the data from the sensors using microcontrollers and microprocessor, using the development boards such as Raspberry Pi and Arduino, uh, then we need to know the serial communication protocols. So in embedded system, serial communication protocols uh, means like the communication refers to the exchange of data between two microcontrollers in the form of bits. And this exchange of data bits in microcontroller is done by some set of defined rules, which are called protocols. So totally they are called uh, communication protocols. So now if the data is sent in series, it is called serial communication protocol. For example, we have Ethernet, I2C, SPI, RS-232, CAN protocol. So all these come into serial communication protocol. So if you try to learn uh, these concepts in the IoT embedded systems, then we are good to go. And to learn more about this, we can work on Arduino and Raspberry Pi boards with multiple sensors and actuators. So by creating your own projects, you will be able to strengthen this skill. So second must have skill, that is networking. So in the networking, uh, as we all know, uh, there are two models, OSI model and TCP IP model. So once we collect the data from the sensors, those data has to be communicated to the other applications. So here the networking comes into play. So successfully, uh, like if you want to create a successful IoT solutions that rely on effective communication, so we need a secure network. To ensure connectivity, developers should be familiar with OSI stack as well as TCP IP stack and also the communication protocols used in those. So we can look into here. So uh, totally OSI uh, model has seven layers and TCP IP model have four layers and we can see the comparison between them. So now I'll be talking about the uh, TCP IP model where uh, some of the protocols in IoT that we must know. So uh, in the network and link layer, we have this IEEE 802MAC or radio. So here we'll get a uh, protocol such as uh, Wi-Fi, Zigbee, Bluetooth, and Z-Wave. All these protocols come into these two layers. And then uh, on the top layer, we can see the application layer. So these are some protocols that needs uh, to be known for the IoT. First important one is the MQTT. And then second one is the COAP and AMQP. So these are all uh, the IoT specific protocols which use low bandwidth as well as less overhead. So based on our use cases, we can use these protocols. So next, uh, we'll have a third must have skill that is programming language. If you see, we have programming languages such as uh, C, C++, Java and Python. So these are the backbone of IoT development. So it's definitely uh, we need to have a familiarity with these languages to become IoT developer. So as an IoT developer, you'll also will be using these programming languages to create the software that controls IoT devices, server programming, and cloud programming as well, so that you can enable the communication with, you, with each other. And uh, we also have divided, like uh, highlighted here, like uh, the devices, in the devices we use C, C++, Python, and Java. And the gateways, uh, we have used Java, Python, C, C++, the priorities we can see. And in the cloud uh, programming, we can see Java, JavaScript, Python, and PHP programming. 
we can see python programming language is common between devices gateways and cloud as well as the java so we can learn uh, these two programming languages either or so that you will be able to control and have the command over these programming languages and these devices gateways and cloud program the fourth skill that needs is the security so iot devices are connected to internet and store sensitive data so security is very critical you need to know how to secure these devices and data they transmit from uh, the potential cyber attacks so uh, we have discussed the security aspects in the previous video so you can click on the info card on the top right corner so you can get into that video as well and here we can see the types of iot security risk in each level so let's get into the fifth so the fifth skill is also must have skill that is the cloud platforms so uh, we need to have familiarity with these iot cloud platforms because these uh, are the software solutions that allow us to manage monitor and control iot devices and these are the some of the popular iot platforms aws iot azure google cloud thingworks and things more and these platforms provide a range of features such as data ingestion data analytics device provisioning device management and security which makes easier for us to build and deploy iot solutions so here we have completed the top 5 skills that are must have so now we'll get into the good to have skill so the good to have skill is ui ux design so ui refers to user interface and ux is user experience and this is not a mandatory skill for every iot developer and this is for those who wants to become full stack iot developer but it is good to have a skill this skill so uh, consider your iot product could have been having the perfect connectivity and be programmed with flawless code but if it's not intuitive to use none of that will matter that's where ui and ux design come in so while you don't have to be iot or uh, iot ui or ux design expert you can collaborate with ui developer to create a intuitive dashboard for the data so in this image uh, we can uh, understand the factory manufacturing process dashboard so in this dashboard we can see the metrics and other kpis which are very important for a factory manager uh, this provides insights and also he can understand the status of the machinery etc so that he can take decisions that's how important the ui and ux design is because whatever the uh, the data that we pick up with them sensors networking all these will be uh, useful until unless the ui is better so next one is the skill number 7 which is another good to have skill so in this good to have skill uh, it talks about artificial intelligence machine learning and data science so even this skill is not mandatory skill for every iot developer so this is also a good to have to have uh, the basic understanding so that you can collaborate with ai or ml engineer and data analyst so that whatever you need to uh, have the analysis you can get that as iot products by nature often collect massive amount of data it's crucial for iot developers to understand the technologies to extract more knowledge and insights from the data so that we can make informed decisions so this helps our businesses maximize the value of information being collected so in this uh, image we can see three scenarios one is smart manufacturing second is face recognition and the people uh, getting counted the third one is the traffic flow as well as vehicle track tracking etc so we can see all the data goes to control center which could be either in a cloud or edge platform that uses ai ml and data science to provide insights and analytics remember that iot is a rapidly growing field and there has never been a better time to get involved with these essential skills you can become a next iot developer and build exciting solutions that will change the world we hope you found this video informative and enlightening please don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button in the upcoming video i'll speak about the career opportunities in iot thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video